Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the Draft Countdown Mock Draft Simulator Series. Today, it's the New York Giants. Giants are in somewhat of a, I don't know, holding pattern here. Uh, Brian Dayball, after having success in his first season, kind of went south last year, and it's pretty much because they're in quarterback limbo right now. What do we do with Daniel Jones? He's obviously not the guy to get you where you need to be, so can they maybe upgrade in this draft? Is adding maybe adding more weapons to their offense the key to unlocking Daniel Jones even further. I, I I I don't know. We'll have to see how it falls. Giants only have six picks here. Looks like they have one in the first six rounds. They do not have a seventh round pick. So six picks here, and maybe the Giants, you know, in in reality, will be looking to move back a little bit. I don't know. That's always possible as well. All right, here we go. Pick six in the first round, and the first five picks. Uh, three quarterbacks, uh, Malik Neighbors went four to Arizona, Marvin Harrison Jr. went five to the Chargers. So that leaves the Giants here uh, kind of in a, a, a lull. Do they, they signed Jermaine Illuminor to compete and or push a 2022 first round pick Evan Neal who hasn't been that great. So you could see the Giants maybe draft the right tackle here, but more likely maybe they, like I said, I think they're, they're looking at the uh the wide receiver and the next one up is Roma Dunze from Washington, who is really good. Uh, I think is a top 10 player in this draft. So would not surprise me if he becomes, you know, we go three wide receivers in a row. And I think that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna select uh, Washington's Roma Dunze. We're back at pick 47. And now we've got a choice to make. The quarterbacks on the board, Bo Nix, Michael Penix. Either one went in the first round. So that's kind of where we're at now. Does one of these two offer an upgrade over Daniel Jones? I think so. Do the Giants think so? That's the question here. I've drafted a Dunze in the first round. I'm going to go back to Washington here, and I'm going to go with the big arm, beautiful deep ball, Michael Penix. Medicals, his main concern, right? That That's kind of the issue. Multiple knee injuries as uh, a collegiate. So, but Michael Penix. I think he's an upgrade over Daniel Jones, maybe pushing him off the roster. So 47, Michael Penix Jr., quarterback, Washington. We're back, pick 70 of the third round. A lot of ways we could go here. Offensive tackle is a spot. Corner is a spot. Running back is a spot. Saquon Barkley's hit the road. Let's look at running back here where Trey Benson, Jonathan Brooks, Blake Corum, Jalen Wright, all still on the board. Just have to wonder if one of these guys is is going to actually be there. Braylon Allen still on Marshawn Lloyd. So we're going to pass it running back because I think we're going to be able to come back in the fourth round and get one of those guys. Offensive tackle, Fisher, Roger Rosengarten, I think are perfect tackle uh, fits here, as well as Christian Jones from Texas. Let's look at the cornerback position, which is a position of knee where we have Cam Hart, Notre Dame, DJ James, a guy I'm really high on from Auburn. Uh, also available there. I think safety is a spot they could look. Cameron Kitchens has really flunked the pre-draft process. Kalen Bullock, more of a free safety, which is what we're looking at here. Javon Bullard, same way, who I'm really high on. He's my actually my safety one. So all these guys available. I think we're gonna we're gonna go with safety here. This may not be the biggest position of need for the Giants but I think it's a place that offers us the best value right now at pick 70. Now, like I said, I love Javon Bullard. He's my number one safety in this class, and that is who I'm going to take here for the Giants. We're back here at pick 107 of the fourth round, and I said we're going to come back to corner, and I think that's a spot now. DJ James from Auburn still available. I, I like uh, right tackle, Roger Rosengarten, Christian Jones still available, plus several others. So with that, uh, there's a lot of running backs still available too, so we're going to pass on that again. Go back to the corner. I think, like I said, best available player here, DJ James. Great ball skills, good length, and speed out of Auburn. We're back at pick 166 of the fifth round, and now is the time to come after a running back here and a guy whose name is really starting to take off as far as everything we've heard from draft prospects 
you know, around the draft media and the NFL word leaking out is they really like the athleticism and upside and versatility. Tyrone Tracy from Purdue, who a guy who played receiver, moved to running back, has really lit up this uh, draft process. So we're going to go with the Purdue Boilermaker, Tyrone Tracy, at pick 166. With our final pick of the Giants mock draft here today is pick 183 of the sixth round. I'm going to look at that offensive tackle depth here, and we're going to go with Matt Goncalves from Pitt, a guy who, like I said, he offers a lot of versatility, maybe even kick inside. If he can't back up, up as a swing tackle here, so this is just a purely depth pick uh, for the Giants at pick 183, and it's Matt Goncalves. So there you have it, Giants fans. Six picks, Rome Madunze and Michael Penix, who quarterback wide receiver connection via the first and second round. Javon Bullard, potential starting free safety. DJ James, start at corner down the road. Ron Tracy offers great depth the running back position, and some versatility catching the football. Finally, Matt Goncalves as a potential swing tackle backup offensive lineman. Let us know what you think about it, uh, fans, in the comments. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so and get a th give us a thumbs up on these videos where we have other mock draft simulator videos as well as all kinds of great content at the Draft Countdown YouTube channel. And as always, you can visit draftcountdown.com for your daily draft needs.